I'm Gloria Frazee, Director of Education for Wine Spectator, and I love a good mystery, especially when it involves wine. And one of the most interesting modern-day wine mysteries is the Carmenere grape, which was lost and found in Chile. Joining me today to tell the story is Andres Caballero from Carolina Wine Brands. Thank you for joining me. Thank you very much for the invitation. So, how was Carmenere lost and found in Chile? Oh. Long history about Carmenere. The Carmenere arrived to Chile in the 1800s, you know, in the probably 1850, when we have uh, all the French uh, uh, winemakers coming to Chile and start planting new vineyards. So we have a lot of uh, plants for the Medoc. Inside of that, we have the Carmenere. So they thought they were bringing over Merlot, actually. Exactly. Uh, we have Merlot and we have it inside it also Carmenere. So in the 80s, we realized we, that we have something different. We thought we have a, a special clone. We call uh, Chilean Merlot and a Peumal Merlot. So and you thought you had two different clones of Merlot? Exactly, it's two different clones. So in the 90s, we bring an ampelographer and he realized that was a Carmener. Okay, so that is the beginning of the, the, the history of the Carmener. So you discovered that you had Carmener in your vineyards and Carmener was actually very prized in Bordeaux for its depth of color and flavor, but it died out there because of phylloxera and then it wasn't replanted. Why is that? Yes, I think it's very tricky in terms of production to get the yields. So probably in Bordeaux uh, was a, a, a variety that has very bad uh, seating in the, uh, with the flowers, so you, the yields were, was very low. So you didn't have many berries and it wasn't economical to exactly. grow the grapes. So Carmenere in Chile, does it have the same problem there? And can you make great wine out of Carmenere in Chile? Uh, we don't have that, that problem because usually we don't have, for example, rains during the spring. We have only a few. Usually are not so cold. It's a more natural home for the grape variety than Bordeaux was. I think so. Many people aren't familiar with Carmenere. Is there another grape that you could maybe compare it with? One variety probably is Pinot Noir because it needs a lot of work in the vineyard. If you had to use one word to describe Carmenere wine, what would that be? The Carmenere wine is very soft in tannins. That's one of the most important things. It's very soft. It's a big, big, big thing. Then you have uh, these f uh, notes in the note. The aromas are uh, more like pepper, uh, spicy, uh, fruit, chocolate. It's very different in terms of um, this wine uh, if you want to compare with another varieties. It has been 30 years in, in terms of that we start uh, learning about uh, something that we have like Carmenere and I think in the last seven years probably really really we are improving in terms of uh, winemaking and vineyard. This is the result in this wine about this uh, uh, last five years.